everybody, and welcome to another episode of Social Strategy Simplified with Sue, where we break down the social media strategies of top industry experts who are gaining extraordinary reach and ROI while actually creating less content. So if you are here watching and this person is not in your industry, that does not matter because these strategies and tactics and best practices are universal and can be applied to any business. So stick around. And each week, I'm going to highlight a different industry professional. This week, we have Lawyer Week with Emily D. Baker, your favorite badass lawyer. I'm going to show you how you can do more with less using the Hub and Spoke content framework so that you can apply these same strategies into your business no matter what business you may be in. So if you're here with me live today, I would love to see a hashtag live in the comments. If you're watching the replay, please give me a hashtag replay. And if you are interested in me pinging you when I go live each day, weekday at 4 p.m., give me a hashtag me in the comments and I will make sure to tag you so you know when I'm going live. Feel free to chime in with any questions in the comments. And also, if you feel that there is someone who might benefit from this breakdown, please feel free to tag them in the post so that they can get some inside scoop on doing more with less in, with social media in their business. So let's dive in. We are on our third spoke today. So a quick backtrack. We are talking about the hub and spoke model of content framework breakdown for social media. On Mondays, we focus on the hub. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we're gonna talk about the spokes. And then Friday, we're gonna wrap up with how you keep engaging because you've got more time to do that now with your audience to continue to grow. So I'm gonna give you a quick backtrack as a recap to start the episode. But if you have not watched, you can catch all the episodes on my profile. I also am going to be placing everything and more to come on a site called socialmediavault.com. So if you go to socialmediavault.com now, you can drop your email in and I will send you an invitation once I get everything loaded because soon we're going to have a whole week of social strategy simplified in there. So Day one, we talk about the hub. Emily D. Baker is an amazing demonstration of the hub and spoke content framework on social media. It all starts with her website. The quick recap, website, features, her YouTube channel, big call to action to subscribe. We come on over there. She has her playlist, which features the Emily Show podcast. Nicely branded, consistent, optimized with descriptions and titles. From here, we see that her next piece, her biggest spoke is her podcast. So what she does is she films an awesome video, takes a piece from that, creates and optimizes that content into a podcast. So one piece becomes smaller pieces, begins with the podcast. You can see then the same thing is out there over on Apple, Google, Spotify, Stitcher. Now, yesterday what we got into was another spoke, Twitter where, again, we had our parental advisory. Sorry about that if I was a little late on that today. But on Twitter, she is then using this as an incredible platform to continue to engage with her community and drive traffic back to her primary hub, which is her YouTube channel, and invite people to listen to her podcast. So today we're gonna go into another spoke, and that is LinkedIn. Now, Emily also actually has an extraordinary presence on Instagram, but is not actually using LinkedIn so much. And that's actually exactly the reason I wanted to use this channel today was to also show a couple of things. So many of my clients have this overwhelm that I have to be on every channel. I don't have time to be on every channel. I don't want to be on every channel. And this right here is a demonstration that you don't have to be. Emily does amazingly well without actively promoting her content on LinkedIn. Now, keep in mind that with this framework, you actually can be everywhere because it's made that much easier for you. Because as you build out the spokes, you select the pieces of content that you will further distribute and optimize across other social channels. It's already, be, it's already been created, so it's like taking a piece of cake and placing it somewhere else. So what I did want to demonstrate today, though, by showing you LinkedIn where she's actually not very active is the opportunity that you do have here to very simply reuse and repurpose this content in another space where people may 
see your thought leadership, your expertise, and be served by what you are offering them. So the first thing we do see here is that even though she may not be an active participant on LinkedIn, she does have a highly optimized and well-branded channel. So even if you don't want to be everywhere and you don't have to, it is a good idea to grab your brand and make sure that it stands out with consistency that same that you have from your website to each of your social channels as Emily has demonstrated so well. Now, as we scroll down on the LinkedIn profile, we see there's this featured section. Now, what we can tell by clicking in through this is that these are some older pieces of material that perhaps she has not updated recently which is fine, but the opportunity here is that LinkedIn has recently um, created this featured section, which used to be more embedded in this about section. Now it stands out quite a bit more prominently, and the opportunity here is that if you have a playlist like this on YouTube, you can actually grab those YouTube URLs and place them into this featured section so that this featured section can actually look exactly like this playlist row here on YouTube. What's the benefit of that? Well, especially if you are not an active LinkedIn user, that if somebody does get referred to you, they will look at your LinkedIn profile. So if someone gets referred to you, they come on LinkedIn, they look you up, you have this extraordinary, consistent, well done, highly regarded setup of content that stands out front and center on the profile. If they click through to that, they'll then be taken over to your YouTube channel in this example, which is the home base, the hub, and have an even further demonstration of your thought leadership, your expertise, your brand personality, and immediately, of course, be warmed up to want to work with you. So this is one opportunity that even though she's not using LinkedIn actively, would be a great space for her to just place those links as her YouTube playlist grows to establish that thought leadership on LinkedIn and stand out. Now, the next thing that can also be done, you can see as we scroll down, and she's done this here in an earlier section, um, is you can also put videos and other media in your experience section. So this is another great space where perhaps you pick another couple pieces of content that you can place into this section of your LinkedIn profile, again, to have a little bit more color, a little bit more branding, and thought leadership demonstrated right there on the front page of your profile without actually having to be consistently active. So those are a few other ways to create additional spokes from that main content in a very easy, quick way to further elevate your brand and expertise. Now, if you did want to have LinkedIn be an active part of your social media activity, which most of my clients in highly regulated professional services do, that's typically their perhaps home base or favorite channel. Video is again a great way to stand out on LinkedIn by creating posts from your hub content. Now, a few things when it comes to video. Three points that I'm gonna point out here, which can be sort of subspokes in the LinkedIn version of your social media implementation. One, LinkedIn does favor, favor content that stays on the page. All of the social channels want to keep you there so they can advertise to you, right? So if your goal is to be more prominent on LinkedIn, get more visibility on LinkedIn, you may want to take that original video form and upload it directly to your profile in the post. Now, if your primary goal is to drive traffic back to your hub, which in this week's example is YouTube, then by all means, use the link from YouTube, paste that into your post on LinkedIn, and of course, write your very savvy, intriguing copy so that people can see a reason to go click on that link and watch your video, and do it that way. You may get a little less reach because of the algorithm in LinkedIn wanting to keep you there, but if your goal is traffic on YouTube, building up that watch time and building up your subscribership, that's the way you wanna go. Then the next level is that you can actually also live stream 
directly to LinkedIn. Now, you do need to go through an application process to make that happen, but if you are somebody who is already actively producing great video content and you apply, you're more likely to get approved for that. And then we get into a whole other bunch of tips that we don't need to get into today, but depending where you're at in your social media implementation, those are your options. So if you do use video as a hub, what, and actually whatever your hub is, if you have presentations, case studies, white papers, whatever that larger home-based piece of content is, remember, you can create that, turn that into spokes, select the theme of the bigger content you wanna break down, produce that next piece of content, optimize that for the social channel you're on and then that gets us to tomorrow's topic which is to keep engaging with the people in your community so that you can continue to elevate your visibility continue to build those relationships and continue to do more with less by using this model you actually have time for that fun stuff which is the engagement piece so we'll get into that a little bit tomorrow thank you for joining me today if you have any questions please drop them in the comments going to take a little peek here today uh, thank you for sharing megan hey sherry so thanks so much for being here i look forward to seeing you tomorrow and if you know somebody that is doing social media amazingly well and you want to see a breakdown of how they're making it all happen doing more with less let me know, drop me a tag them in the comments and perhaps you'll see them featured on another episode and maybe that person is you. All right, I'll see you soon.